Hi, welcome to Grow Up School Learning with GIY. My name is Terry. I'm the education manager at GIY, and today we're going to talk about food systems. Have you ever wondered where your food comes from or how it got to your plate? We come in contact with food on a daily basis, but where it comes from is not something we think about that often. We go into the supermarkets, we roam aisles, pulling items off shelves, throwing them into our trolley. We might stop for a Chinese or chipper takeaway without much thought as to how that food got there in the first place. Learning about our food systems helps us understand where our food really comes from. It makes us aware of all the energy and the effort that goes into making our food ready for us to eat. Once we know more about our food system, we can make informed, healthy, and sustainable choices around our food. So, are you ready to dive in and learn what a food system is? Let's go. A food system is how we get our food. It is the journey our food takes from farm, or the food source of growth, to fork, ready to eat, to your bin, where it decomposes or ends up in a landfill. This journey includes all the changes that happen to our food along the way. It also includes the people, organizations, and businesses that help get our food ready to buy and consume. We can think of our food system as having five main parts. The first is production. In this stage, we grow and harvest fruits and vegetables, raise livestock, and farm fish for food use. Activities like farming, fishing, planting seeds, watering, and fertilizing crops happen here. Two, processing. During processing, our food products like veg or livestock are transported from the source to another location and transformed into different types of foods, like the kinds we're used to seeing at the market. Activities like packaging, butchering, cooking, and canning happen here. Three, distribution. Food is packaged again for storage or long journeys and transported to where people can access it, like a supermarket or restaurant. Activities like putting food into large boxes and containers and storing foods in industrial freezers and warehouses happen here. Our food might travel on various modes of transport, like trains, trucks, ships, or cars. Four, consumption. This is all the steps taken in purchasing and eating our food. Activities like traveling from your home to the marketplace to purchase food, preparing food at home, like washing and chopping, cooking, and finally, eating. Five, disposing. This is what happens to our food waste. Activities like throwing food scraps and food packaging into our bin or compost, and rubbish being collected and brought to a landfill site happen here.